for having me back. Um, since the last time we spoke, um, we've had good news. Um, the town council had voted unanimously to support putting the referendum on the ballot. So that's uh, that was excellent news for us. Um, basically, on, on the behalf of the community for economic growth and advancement of Allegheny County. I respectfully request the Allegheny County Board of Commissioners to take action this morning to place the matter of referendum for sale of mixed beverage and operate an ABC store on the ballot for the election in November 4, 2014. Folks, we have some follow-up questions. Okay, just so I understand, you're, you're, there's, there's two requests that would go on this ballot if approved? And yeah, you have to do the uh, mixed beverage, and they also will have to be in uh, the right to operate ABC store for the county, so it has to also be on that. Okay. Now, if this was approved, I think you, you've, uh, you've asked some of the folks at the Board of Elections what kind of cost this would entail to add it? Um, or have you, I'm sorry. So. No, no, no. I was told I had to refer that back to them. So you don't have any idea? I mean, I, my brief conversation with the director, Kate Cosner, is she felt like it would be, uh, if any cost, it would be minimal, um, but she did not feel like there'd be a cost to it. it um, it really comes down to how the final ballot ends up. And if these two questions cost an additional sheet or not, um, she felt like, and, and this isn't, this is my last conversation with her probably a few weeks ago. Um, at that time, she was not, she did not think it would cost extra sheets. So, and she thought the repro, there's two, two areas of potential cost. One is programming. And two is whether or not it costs more printing costs. She felt like the programming was very minimal. That night. I mean, just negligible in, in the large picture of things. The printing, again, would be dictated about, it's really literally space on a piece of paper. And whether or not those two questions would cause an additional piece of paper to have to be printed. And again, the last conversation I had with Ms. Cosmer, she did not feel like it would occur, but... It wasn't 100% verified to me. Um, if, if it did cause an additional piece of paper, then there would be some additional printing costs to it. Uh, and again, uh, I don't want to throw numbers out to you, but I think you would have to ask the, uh, the Board of Elections to throw the actual numbers to you. But um, I, I, I would think you would be talking about most hundreds of dollars, if not a couple, you know, I've seen our ballot cost, not our entire ballot cost, only be several thousand dollars. So, I mean, it, it, I think you would be talking about hundreds of dollars if it costs that to occur. But, but that's about as much knowledge as I have on it. We have some more questions or comments. Do we have the exact wording? What would be on the ballot in front of us? Uh, that would have to come through Kate okay. as okay. well. There, there is statutory language that it, it basically, there is not a choice. Last time I looked, I believe there's two questions, and that, that, how the questions are presented are by statute. So the actual wording would be dictated by state law. I'd like to see those. Which is basically what you're asking. Yeah, today. what we're asking, mm -hmm. I, and I, I want to make it clear, not just to you all, but also the public, we're not asking for y'all to support this referendum at all. I'm not saying it was for mixed drinks or whatever. We're simply asking for you to support putting this on the ballot and giving the citizens of the county the, the choice to choose what they want. And that's all we're asking. Just basically giving us and all the voters the right to go to the polls and say this is what we want or this is what we don't want. Yeah, they're at uh, they're at local businesses. I know, but I asked. 
ask for them and they don't bring them out. I don't see them. Yeah, that don't... Uh... I don't see... I have not seen passion for this project. Um, fire in the belly. I haven't seen a lot of work out there yet. Well, um, there's been a lot of work out there. Uh, I can guarantee you that. I haven't personally been asked to sign anything. Yeah, and we, we, did, we haven't started the the big thing we did first off was go to just local businesses support us, drop these off. Let Susan just come in and, and let the businesses kind of tell them and see how they went. But we haven't started door to door petition thing. We wanted to go to this route first to see. Uh, but that's, you know, if this, this route didn't happen, that's the next thing we want to door to door uh, with volunteers to, to try to get this through. But we kind of have let that simmer while we're here trying to get go through the government. I'm not saying I'm against it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying I have not seen work toward this process. And, and if you're seriously passionate about this process, it's going to take a lot of work. It does. And uh, and, and two things. Uh, I'm also a full-time student at Wilson Community College, and so is the other uh, another one of the committee members, and also work. Uh, so we have to our times college is over, so now it's um, full steam ahead, but that's been, that's part of the issue. We still got to provide for our families and stuff, so we've not uh, been able to hit it wide open yet, but we're prepared to do so you know, through the spring and summer, and if it gets on the ballot through the fall. So. And did you, do you have any numbers yet for petitions? I know we asked you that last time. No, we're just we're, we still haven't got anything turned back. And when is the last possible time this would have to be approved or not in order to get on the ballot? Well, July the 3rd, I think, is, is when our petitions will end. That's basically the first week of July. That's when the board of election has to be done to get on the ballot. When's the last opportunity for this board to approve? Well, uh, I don't really know. I mean, the deal would be if it doesn't get through here, uh, like now or, or soon, we're going to kick off the petition thing. And, and we're not, I don't know that we would, if we really uh, went hard after the petitions, I don't know that we would come back uh, if we had to go that route. Because I just, our option is to try to get y'all put it on the ballot. And if we have to kick off this petition thing, full swing. I don't know if we have time to try to come back. So I don't know. And we would kick off full swing if it doesn't go now because we, we've got a time frame of limitations. You know, we'll have to go. I have a question about <clears throat> the possibility of the town, since the town is supporting this, unanimously, unanimously it seems, uh, could the town put this on uh, their own referendum? in on that. I don't know, but uh, could, could it be a town of Sparta issue and not a county-wide issue, or does it have to be a county-wide issue publicly? It can be a town thing. The town places next year. If it goes on the ballot this year, there's a limitation, I think, two years before they brought back up. If it goes on the ballot, it fails. Um, the, the deal, the reason we're not trying to go through the town is because we're trying to have all the businesses in the whole county. And if you, if you just go through the town, I mean, that's a lot of the Restaurants and stuff's going to profit is in town, but there's bed and breakfasts in the county and other restaurants around the county that are also producing. So we want to try to help everybody um, and not just the town. We want to try to do it all together. Well, I, Andy, I've given this a lot of thought. I mean, probably more thought than I should have, really, according to my life. You know, I'm overthinking it <clears throat> because uh, you're asking us to put this in front of the people. Let them decide. Um, however, an issue, well, I kind of tied to what Commissioner Lee said. I really haven't heard any, anybody come and say to me or call me or even, you know, I run into people in the grocery store all the time and at the feed store and I, everywhere I go and nobody has said anything to me about it. This is something we need to support. The only comments I have heard is that, well, we have enough already. 
we've got the air and line sales and, and then the other sales. That was what I heard. Um, and I know you're saying that we shouldn't, we're not really endorsing this if we vote for it. But I will tell you, looking back in the generations of my family, uh, hard liquor uh, has caused some of them great deal of pain throughout the years. Uh, the ones I'm aware of. I'm saying this just to explain my vote, which is going to be no Well, and that's the thing. The thing is, we have ABC store. And uh, if somebody's going to this with some of the issues that we've actually, people come to us and talk about. And you have an ABC store, and you have a new store, somebody's going to abuse liquor, they're not going to pay $8 for wine this glass. They're going to pay $8 for a fee. So that's already here and now. Mixed drinks is not going to, there's no facts throughout all the research we've done through the state and through um, all the counties. Anyone that has this law passed, there's no, there's no kind of facts that come back and say crime rate increases, um, alcohol use goes higher and gets it worse. Um, no county manager, no people that I've spoken to all over the state. Uh, and I specifically asked those questions because I knew that's what everybody's concerned about. Um, so I asked them, and, and, and they all give me the same things. That's the only thing I can base myself on. I respect you, and I appreciate you standing up for what you believe. Are there any other questions? Or something? Well, we're, we're being requested to vote on whether or not to put this on the ballot, and I think we should step up and do that. So the chair would entertain a motion to um, put this on the ballot for November, that is the uh, mixed beverage referendum. I would like to make a motion to delay this. Can I do that? Since there's no motion on the floor, you can. I'd like to make that motion and have more information in front of us. Um, when is their last option to come to the county commissioners? I want to see, I would like to see the, um, is, this the is this the last opportunity? It's the second meeting in June. Okay. I would like to see what would be on the ballot. And I would, um, in between, maybe like to see some passion out there, hard work toward this project. If, if it's a, um, Incredible, serious group. I'd like to see some work. And I make the motion to delay this. Commissioner Lee has made a motion. Is there a second? I, I would uh, agree with the idea of wanting to see the wording that's going to be on the ballot if you're asking us to, to approve it. So, uh, with, with that, I would say. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Four, one. 